Cruise news time. Well, I, I got a, a, a tale of woe today. Carnival cruise passengers on the Carnival Magic victimized while cruising. Cruise news. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony. Here with the latest cruise news updates. Well, today the story is a, a bummer, and it's a story that I think many of us probably worry about while we're cruising. Uh, this is about several passengers on the Carnival Magic returning to uh, the cruise port Norfolk yesterday and finding that their car had been broken into. Now, the immediate question, was this the cruise ship parking lot? Was this a third-party parking lot? The Norfolk police confirmed that there were at least four cars that had been uh, burgled or larceny was committed on four cars. And so, uh, yeah, not the surprise that you want when you come back from your cruise. I'm sure all of us have that same paranoia. If you've driven your car to your cruise, uh, will your car be safe? And then of course, anytime that you leave your house for an extended period of travel, will your home be safe? Uh, I, I hope most people have something in place, an alarm system, people that come and check on your house, people that stay on your house, that's certainly what we do because we travel a lot, but I tell you what, when we first started cruising and we didn't have those things in place, it's like, okay, we're getting back to the car. Is everything going to be okay with the car? And then when we get back to our home, is everything okay with our home? And so I could not imagine the dismay that these folks felt when they got off the cruise ship and found that their car had been broken into. Uh, this was a regular cruise ship lot. This was the cruise parking at the terminal. This lot was patrolled by third-party security that was hired by the city of Norfolk to check out that parking lot. Also in the statement that the police released, they were they were shocked that this happened, that the roving security guard did not see this, and uh, they're going to look to enhance the security there, uh, possibly adding cameras uh, to deter people from breaking in. Of course, the people that were victimized, they reached out to Carnival, and Carnival doesn't have anything to do with the parking lots. Carnival did respond through brand ambassador John Heald, and he explained to the folks that uh, probably the best course of action is to go through your car insurance, uh, to see if you can recover anything financially from this break-in. You know, for us, we're always trying to find parking that seems secure. If it's a third-party lot, something that has cameras, something that has a fence, uh, I would traditionally think that the cruise port parking would be secure. I think that's an assumption many people have. Uh, but this is a story that reminds us that even in scenarios that you think are secure, maybe they won't be. So be very cautious as to what you keep in your car when you go on a cruise. There are a few things uh, in this cruise life that can cause some stress uh, if you overthink it. Most of the time, I just roll with it. You know, life is going to be what life is going to be. Uh, but yeah, it's important to have your insurance in place. Try to make the best choices possible, uh, where to park your car. And even sometimes when you make the best choice, uh, you still could have a challenge. It's a travel day for us. We're getting on the road, going to our next destination. So I'll see you from somewhere else tomorrow. Boom, that is your show today. It's time for you to sound off. Have you had any of these type issues? Anything really bad happen while you were cruising? Uh, let's have that conversation in the comments. Look, if you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, cruising, uh, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on, and you can do us a solid on this travel day by hitting the like button. Uh, no punishment today. You're scot-free. All you got to do is hit the like button, and I will send you my grateful love. Uh, this is Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.